So whenever I watch other people's videos like touring their workspace and it's super perfect and it's not messy and everything's organized and it all looks amazing, I think to myself, wow, how thoroughly unrelatable because my space just, just did not look like that. It does not look like that at all. <laughs> So before we dive into the specifics, I want to talk about the like broader overview of the entire space. So my studio is just a wall in my living room. It's very straightforward. I have my desk. This is the sit stand fully Jarvis desk. It's an L-shaped desk. It has a bamboo top. And on the left side of my desk, I have my Ikea drawer unit. I actually like nothing special about it. It just is really good at holding stuff. And then above that, I have two picture shelves that I got off of Amazon that hold like panels, paintings in progress, stuff like that. And then of course, above my desk, I have my gallery wall. I like a lot of art in my space. Most of this is not mine. Okay, so we have some Audrey Estic. That's over, that's the Rayla print. This over here is Natalie Anderson. And then a lot of this is like Jess Franks. So this is Jess Franks, that's Jess Franks. That over there is also Jess Franks. That's Natalie Gustafson, those two black ones. I forget who that like big square print of it. I got off of Inprint. A lot of these are from Inprint. I will try and link them down below. Um, this one over here with the tiger, that is an M. Niwa print. And a lot of these are Lee Ellickson, like a fair few. That's an Art with M print over there. That's Lee, that's Lee, that's, that's Lee. <laughs> so many are Lee Ellickson, but I like to just like clutter up my workspace. I like to have a fair amount of like aesthetic visual clutter. And to that same end, I have a ton of plants. So above my desk, I have a philodendron, a Cebu blue pothos, I think, and a philodendron that I can't remember the name of. I love vining plants. Vining plants have such a grip over like my psyche. I just can't live without good vining plants. And then above my desk, of course, I also have my 100,000 subscribers plaque. This plaque means so much to me. I could not have done this without you guys. I got this in the mail this past week and I hung it up and it really tied the entire studio together, at least in my eyes. I was saving that little spot empty, like just for that plaque when I, when I got it in the mail. And it's so perfect. It really represents all of the work that I've done on this channel and just the community that we've been able to build together. So thank you so much for your support. You have helped me change my life. But let's transition back into actually talking about the studio, which is what you guys actually came here for. So on my desk, I have it split up into roughly two like general kind of stations. I have the computer area and I have the painting area. On the computer area, this is really where I spend the bulk of my time. I spend a lot of time editing, planning videos. Sometimes I draw on my iPad and watch like shows and stuff like that. And for that, I'm usually in front of my computer. And even when I'm painting, I usually have reference on my computer, like movies playing in the background, music, whatever. And so this is kind of like the backbone of the entire space, really. It's kind of like, it brings everything together. So for my computer, I have the M1 Max Mac Studio. This is a workhorse of a computer. I've been a Mac fan for a long time. I think I switched from PC to Mac in like 2013, and I've never looked back, basically. It's gorgeous. It's just the peak of industrial design. It's functional. It does exactly what I want it to do with no complaints. I have never edited and rendered videos faster than like on this machine. And then I also splurged a little bit and got the studio display. The studio display is not really like an innovative monitor in any real sense of the word. It's pretty basic. It's got a fairly old panel on it, but it's very bright. I love the glass and the industrial design is really what sets it over the top for me. I like stuff that's quality. I like to buy stuff that's going to last. I don't want to have to get things over and over and over. That really rubs me the wrong way. And just the stainless steel, like high quality design of this monitor 
is incredible to me. I love like the aluminum finish. I love how sturdy and solid it looks. It doesn't look garish in the space. It really fits right in. I hate how a lot of monitors have like that cheap black plastic. I just can't stand that. And I have the um just the basic stand for it, just like the tilting one. I didn't really need the height, but to add a little bit of height to the space that is more ergonomic, I did get a desk shelf from Grove Made. They sent this to me, full disclosure, and I've been loving it. I've had this for two months now and if they were like, hey, send it back, I would buy a new one with my own money like right now. I'd be like, take my money. I want, I want this. This is so nice. I'm a person that has a lot of stuff. My workspace is messy. It's imperfect. I have things like chapstick, um, like random little like bits and bobs and like crystals and things that I got from a garage sale in St. Paul like three years ago and and external SSDs and SD cards and all of those like random bits and bobs that live on my desk that, like a normal person uses all the time. That lives in my workspace like perpetually. It doesn't really have a home right now. And so I like to store all of that random crap basically on the desk shelf. I'm aware this is essentially debasing this beautiful feat of like design, but it's functional for me and it's beautiful and I love it so much. It holds a ridiculous amount of things. I have my sketchbook on the bottom shelf. I have my watercolor palette in there. And they also sent me this very cute little drawer that fits perfectly on the bottom shelf of this desk shelf. And it has like this aluminum part that slides out really easily. And the inside is this beautiful cork that has been like carved out to fit like pens and random bits and bobs. And thank you so much to Grove Made for sending this stuff to me. It's beautiful. They really decked me out, by the way, guys. They sent me like an iPad stand. They sent me this gorgeous set of like a keyboard and a trackpad tray to accommodate my Apple trackpad and keyboard, which really ties the whole space together. I love the organic feel. I try to make the space feel like super cozy. Like I said before, my apartment doesn't get any direct sunlight. So I really wanted to like make the space feel as warm and welcoming as possible and not like a dark, sad cave. And this really helps me achieve that purpose. So another big part of my desk and my overall workspace that I want to talk about is the Hag Capisco chair. This is an expensive chair. I never in my life thought that I would have a desk chair this expensive. Fully sent this to me. They were super kind to just like gift this to me. It was extremely generous of them. I had just purchased my desk, so I was like, damn, like I wish you guys had reached out to me like literally two weeks ago. But anyway, they sent me this chair. I thought it was like a weird shape. I was like, you know, okay, I'll try it. And wow, for something that looks so weird, this is so insanely comfortable, actually. If you can afford to buy this chair, please consider it. It is so ergonomic. I have tried many a desk chair. I've tried like dining chairs at my desk. I've had the Laura Davidson Soho chair. This chair is so insanely comfortable. It has like a myriad of adjustment points. You can change it to really suit you personally. It's kind of like saddle shaped, which is really nice. It keeps your hips like spread a little bit more open. So you don't have that like lower back pain that you do in a lot of chairs, which had plagued me for like literally an eternity. And the quality of your desk chair is just so insanely important. Again, if you can splurge on this chair, like try it out in person, please do. But let's transition to the painting area of my desk. So on that desk shelf that I mentioned earlier, I actually have like this small bamboo drawer unit. This is where I have all of my oil paints. I really wanted them close at hand as much as possible. And then next to that, I have my Sienna Plen Air easel. This is the easel that I'm using right now. I have a variety of easels that I'll change whenever the moment strikes or like kind of whenever I need to. This easel works best when I want just like a very clear mixing area. Maybe I'm working on some one-off projects or I want to be a little more portable. Let's say I wanted to paint on my balcony or paint in here and I wanted the flexibility of being able to go back and forth. That's when I would choose this particular easel. I'm currently working on a still life painting where like I kind of want that flexibility. So that's really nice about it. And then next to my easel, I have my brush storage. So my brush storage and like the little glass jars that you see my wax pastels in are both from Peg and All. They are a Pennsylvania-based woodworking studio, if I'm remembering that correctly. They have an Etsy store that has just some gorgeous stuff on it. I'm the kind of person that 
I really want to invest in quality if I'm interacting with it every day. And also, I just couldn't find something that was like that from literally anywhere else. I really wanted brush storage that could accommodate a large collection of brushes because I have a ton of brushes from Treckle, Princeton, and Rosemary and Co. that are all for oil painting and a variety that are for gouache and watercolor painting too. And I wanted to be able to see all of them at once basically. And this brush storage set is perfect for that. It is simple, it's high quality, and it works great for me. Now, when it comes to lighting, I wanna make a dedicated video to all of my YouTube gear. So I don't wanna talk about the studio light right now, but for the light that I have on behind, Behind me. This is called a practical light. This is a Danish scissor lamp that I got off of Etsy. It's from this guy that makes them in the Netherlands and I wanted to splurge something cute. So this is what I got for myself. In it I have the shade that came with the lamp that I could select the colors of and a smart light bulb that I can change the color of at my desk right now. So let me actually boot that up. I can change it to be like a red color if I want or this like nice soft warm white color. But let's transition to talking about the drawer unit and the rest of my studio. So to the left of my desk, I have this pretty basic Ikea Alex drawer unit. I have it filled to the brim with art supplies and a variety of junk, okay? I am not the kind of person that organizes my drawers. I wish that I was. I'm really not. I aspired to be that kind of person. Like I got some really cute, like bamboo, container store drawer organizers and then I discovered that they couldn't fit perfectly in the drawers and I got kind of upset. I thought about sitting them down and then I didn't and now they're just floating around in there living their best lives filled to the brim with a bunch of stuff. So in the top drawer um, is one of many junk drawers but this one is like loosely organized with just like camera gear and like miscellaneous office stuff. So I have things like lens caps in there extra camera batteries, some lens filters and diffusers. I have like some, I don't know, some like basic Elmer's glue, like the normal kind of office stuff. And then the drawer below that, I have all of my paints. So all of my oil paints that were not already in the bamboo drawer unit on my desk, I have in here. So all of my gouache, my acrylic gouache, my like random oil painting colors, I don't use it often, but I still wanna have around, live in there. My big tubes of white paint I have in there. And then in the drawers below those, I have just a bunch of panel storage. I also have a drawer dedicated to colored pencils and pens, but most of that drawer unit is dedicated to like painting panels that are like flat. So think like quarter to an eighth of an inch thick panels and some oil painting paper, some sketchbooks. I think I have a drawer dedicated to like my label printer and like random things like that. So if it's like not sexy or entertaining, but it's necessary to have in a studio that like actually like makes stuff. So yeah. <laughs> And then there's just like a bunch of clutter overall in my studio. On the top of that drawer unit, I have like this little like letter board, cute like felt thing that says habits are the compound interest of self-improvement, which is a phrase I like to have like just ingrained into my little brain as much as I possibly can. And then I have even more panels. That like blue box thing is actually an oil painting palette. So I have a glass palette that lives in there and then the, like the blue cover for it snaps down onto the sides and really creates like an airtight seal to keep my paints fresh longer. And then I have a bunch of plants, um, like a bunch of plants. If I could have more plants in this space, I swear to God, I would. I just don't have the light for it right now, um, which sucks. But anyway, yeah. And then under my desk, I have a bunch of boxes that have more sketchbooks, um, more paper, my needle felting stuff, um, just a ton of random things because I live in this space and I use it every single day and it has to hold literally all of my stuff basically. So yeah, I want to thank you guys again for helping me reach this point in my career. It really means just an enormous amount to me. I, I don't feel like I can actually properly express how much this means to me, but thank you. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, I have, I have an online shop, I have a Patreon. You can join our Discord server. It's totally free. Just pop in, chat. I would love to hear from you. And the community that we've been able to build is something that I think I'm just really proud of. Um, so thank you so much. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.